Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Player coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate guide to optimizing your AMD Radeon settings for the best performance with inside of your graphics card. You should see a benefit on any AMD Radeon based GPU regardless of spec, whether it be high end or low end, it doesn't really matter. Um, but our goal today is going to be to maintain a good visual uh, fidelity within different games and just to make sure that we are getting every last drop out of our graphics card. Um, but if you guys do see positive results from this video, feel free to leave a like or a comment. Um, I do read every comment and make sure you subscribe for more videos that uh, also optimize your PC, speed it up, and make sure you're getting every last drop out of it. Um, but I do read every comment, like I said, um, and I want to get more connected to you guys. So before we start the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Discord. Um, this is my community Discord. Um, as you can see, you can talk to me about PC questions. I have a general chat. Um, feel free to hop in here if you want to get more connected or just ask me any personal questions, any PC um, stuff like that. Um, I'll do my best to help you out and we can just connect and have a great community here. Um, but yeah guys, without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Alrighty, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and right click on your desktop. You're going to go to AMD Radeon Software. Um, if you don't have this already, I'm going to go ahead and leave you the link to the latest drivers on their website. Um, that's going to be at the top of the description as well. Um, but if you just loaded this up, make sure you go to the home button at the top left. Go ahead and go to under driver and software. Go ahead and check for updates. Make sure you're completely up to date as the new version has released recently. Um, this version has been much better than the previous ones. Um, but the reason this video has taken so long is because the old version um, wasn't really supporting my graphics card that well at high refresh rates, so I was black screening and it was just really unstable. Um, but now that my uh, driver is good, um, I can go ahead and make this video. Um, but yeah, like I said, just make sure you're completely up to date. The current drivers are doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, that should solve a lot of your problems right there. Um, another thing you do want to do is you want to go to the gaming tab. You're gonna go ahead and click on Fortnite or whatever game you play. And you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna put this on eSports for now or it's gonna uh, come up with custom after we make a couple changes. So I'm gonna put mine on eSports as you can see. Um, we want anti-lag enabled. Chill is gonna be disabled. Um, this is gonna save you some power. We don't really need that if we're trying to get every last use of FPS. Um, the image sharpening, we really do want this on. It does improve the visual quality a lot. Um, for little to no FPS. You're going to enable it. Now I have mine at about 88% uh, and you can test this, um, see what you like best. Um, I personally keep it here. It keeps a good medium for me, makes it look like a little bit of a higher quality image. Um, but for enhanced sync, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Um, vertical refresh, we want this always off. This is going to be your V sync. Um, and then AMD free sync, or I'm sorry, Radeon free sync. You want to do AMD optimize if you can. Um, this is going to be per monitor. Um, scaling mode, center, integer scaling, you want disable, uh, launch iInfinity, disable, and custom color, it's all preference. Um, next thing you want to do is go ahead and click the advanced button down here. Once you're here, go ahead and select override application settings, and you're going to set this at 2x. And then for anti-aliasing method, you want to go ahead and put multi-sampling. For this one, you want to go ahead and disable it. Uh, Anti-strophic filtering, you want to go ahead and enable that, put it at times 2. Go ahead and put this on performance, enable surface format um, optimization, tessellation mode, go ahead and override it and put it at eight times. Open triple buffering, we want to go ahead and turn that off as it does not apply to Fortnite. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it um, and you can go ahead and apply that to your global display if you'd like just so you can get it in every game. Um, I have a profile just for Fortnite. I'm still testing some other settings in different games to see what I like the best, um, but that's my main settings for Fortnite. Alright guys, and the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go to that performance tab. We're going to go to tuning, add game profile, and select the game you play. I play Fortnite, so I'm going to add that profile. This is going to give our GPU a profile for each application. Um, for Fortnite, I'm going to go ahead and add a, so uh, a soft overclock that keeps our GPU at a safe temperature while getting every last drop and speed out of it. So for me, I go ahead and or I run a AMD R9 39, or 390 series, so I'm going to Google AMD Radeon R9 390 max temp. Um, as you can see, my safe temp is going to be 94 degrees Celsius. Um, this is what the manufacturer said is the max speed, and that is what it's made to run at. Um, so my goal is going to be like 92, 93, just to be safe. 
And to get started with this soft overclock, you wanna go ahead and enable power tuning. We're gonna go ahead and side that all the way to the right. This won't change anything except the limit um, that you're allowed to give, the voltage limit that you're, um, you'll be allowed to give to your GPU. You wanna go ahead and apply this. Um, this won't change the temperature at all. This is just gonna allow us to add more speed to the GPU in the VRAM. And I'll be explaining this in just a second. The next thing we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna turn on the um, custom fan tuning and we're gonna go ahead and enable it. We're gonna enable advanced control. As you can see, mine's running at 1800 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and increase that to like 2500, just to speed it up a little. Um, this is gonna immediately cool it down. You can see that it will speed up just a bit. And as your fan does get hotter, it's gonna naturally speed up the fan. So it's gonna maintain that temperature no matter what. Um, it's gonna do its best and we're just gonna go ahead and monitor it and speed up the fan when necessary. So the GPU tuning, um, as you can see, it says clock speed. This is uh, very similar to the cores of a uh, CPU, a processor. Um, and the faster they are, the more frames you will get. So once you're here, you can go ahead and enable it. You just wanna slide this for like two or three. Um, I'm gonna keep mine at two just because my card does run a little bit hotter. Um, for you guys that are like in the 50s while idle or 60s, you can go ahead and probably slide it to three. And you can test this as well. Um, this is gonna be the safe setting um, for most people. Um, once you're done with that, you can go to apply changes. Um, this should speed or get your temperature a little bit warmer. As you can see, I'm running 69, um, but I don't have my game running right now. Um, and before I start my game, we're gonna go ahead and tune the VRAM. So the VRAM is basically going to be the RAM of your graphics card. So the VRAM is gonna uh, hold all the shaders, the cache, the image caches, um, stuff like that, and will help solve any rendering issues if you're having trouble with the game not rendering. Um, the faster you make this, the faster it'll render. Um, but you do wanna be very careful. This is the stuff you wanna um, tune very slight um, and just keep testing it out because this will increase your temperature the most. So once you're here, you wanna go ahead and enable VRAM tuning. We're gonna go ahead and increase it probably by 50 apply changes um, from here I would load my game and I would play for about five minutes test the temperature um, if it's still at a safe temperature um, I would increase it again by 50 gonna apply the changes again close it load Fortnite keep testing it until you get a safe temperature of like 90 whatever you looked up earlier um, the temperature that your manufacturer says is safe um, but yeah guys that's pretty much a simple way to overclock your graphics card for now um, i will be making more in-depth videos for a cpu overclock a gpu overclock and a ram overclock all in one video um, so do be looking out for that um, but that's pretty much it for the video um, if you guys did see a positive change make sure you leave a comment like subscribe um, i appreciate all of you lately i cannot thank you guys enough for 6,000 subs um, it's actually insane it's in it's like unreal i wouldn't have expected it um but i'm so grateful for you guys it means the world to me um, but yeah guys that's been it for the video without further ado i'll catch y'all later boys peace